Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to show you some really fun colorful cards using the Gumball Greetings and the Gumball Machine dies. This is such a fun little bundle. It is available in our January through June mini catalog. So let's flip the camera around. This is part of a blog hop, so at the end of the video, there'll be a link that you can click on. It's going to pop up in the top right corner of the video where you can go right to my blog and see what everyone else made for the hop today. So much fun! I have several color combinations to share with you today. For the card that I'm going to be making, we're going to use Memento Black Ink, Flirty Flamingo, and Bermuda Bay. We're also going to be using the Flirty Flamingo Stamp and Blend alcohol markers, as well as our Stamp and Write markers in Flirty Flamingo and Bermuda Bay. I've got Dimensionals Mini Glue Dots, my Take Your Pick tool, my Essentials, and then we're going to be using these fun tag punches. This is the Fancy Tag Punch, and this is the Delightful Tag Topper Punch with gumball greetings. I love this little bundle. I actually have a kit class this month that I'll talk to you a little bit about and let you know what's included and you can see if it's something for you. I'm going to bring in our card layers. Now this is a piercing mat and I use this covered with printer weight paper and taped on with scotch tape. This is my stamping surface. This works really, really well for me. It keeps my tabletop clean and I just change this paper when it gets a little too messy. Our first layer is our card base. This is Flirty Flamingo. It is five and a half by eight and a half. Then we have an inside layer of basic white that's four by five and a quarter. Another layer of basic white that is three and three quarters by five. A layer of Bermuda Bay that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I've got a scrap of basic white. And then I'm bringing in the Brights Designer Series Paper Pack. This is just a fun, colorful pack of paper. It's on sale right now. It's going to be retiring with our annual catalog. I've got two pieces here in Bermuda and Flirty Flamingo. These are both two by four. And then I've got a little strip here for the inside layer that is three quarters by four. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that inside layer stamped up right away. It is the bigger of the two basic white layers. And I am going to bring in the Bermuda Bay ink with the sentiment that says, may your day be filled with all the best things. Now this particular stamp set, Gumball Greetings, oh, and Bermuda Bay Ink, has 10, or I'm sorry, 16 different stamps. And it's got one, two, three, four sentiments and a couple little tiny words in it. Some really fun elements to go with this gumball machine. Let me find my little strip of designer series paper here. I always like to use up those little scraps to help decorate my envelopes or the inside of my card. So I'm just gonna put this three quarter inch strip right down here. It is a great way to use up your scraps and to decorate your insides. I always say, I don't think the party should be over when you open a card. We need to do some things on the inside. We have everything right at our fingertips. Let's take advantage of that and not just woo people with the front of your card, but give them a little something on the inside too. So we're gonna put this right in our Flirty Flamingo card base and we're ready to roll here. Now I've also got an envelope here and we're gonna do some stamping now. I've got the Memento Black, that's what works best with alcohol markers. So I'm gonna stamp that right here. I am going to take the little gumballs and I'm going to stamp those all over this layer. This is the Bermuda Bay. And you want to kind of move them around, make them look real random. That's what I'm 
trying to achieve here. And you can always come back and add some more if you need to. This is my Stampin' Chamois. This is how I clean my stamps. This is a fantastic stamp cleaner. I love it. It's easy. It's quick. And now we're going to go with the Flirty Flamingo. And you just do a little tap, tap, tap. Move those gumballs around. Make them go off the edge as if this was just a great big random sheet of gumballs. One more right there. I think we'll do one more right there. The middle I'm not too concerned with. We're going to cover that up. Okay, I've got that done. And as long as we're here, I like to decorate my envelopes too. So this is funny. I found this in my catalog. It's my wish list from the last annual catalog. So I'm going to just use it as a scrap so that I can decorate up the flap of my envelope. I've tucked it under there so I don't stamp all over the envelope. I'm just catching the flap here. And again, we're gonna clean that stamp off, use our flirty flamingo to come in and put some cute pink gumballs all over. And I think that looks great. You can put as many or as few on as you would like. Now we're gonna grab these two pieces. Now, we've got two tag punches here. Both of these are retiring. The fancy tag topper punch is the one that I'm going to use for our cards today. And I'm just going to place this in here. This is two inches wide. It fits perfectly in here. It goes right up here in the back. You just push it all the way in and punch and you get this wonderful tag. So I'm gonna do that with both of these, just like that. But I also wanted to show you some features of this punch. Oh, by the way, this um, fancy tag punch is on sale for $11.50. Then we have the delightful tag topper punch. The cool thing about this one is it allows you to make three different sizes of tags. So I've got some Flirty Flamingo cardstock scraps here so I could show you this. This is the two inch by four. There's a tag and look at that pretty scallopy type edge. And now we've got one and a half inch and you just put it right in the channel. It fits in there perfectly, punch it. And now we have a thinner tag and then we have the one inch, just like that. So three different tags in one punch. This is normally $23 on sale for $18.40. The um, retiring items are going to be taken off the market on May 2nd because May 3rd, our new catalog goes live. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to get your hands on that new catalog, I would be happy to send you one. You're going to want to pop me an email at kelly at a stamp And make sure you include your address, and I will make sure to get a catalog in the mail to you. Okay, now I need to decide which one I want. I'm going to stamp on this one. I'm going to stamp the I Choose You sentiment. And there we go. I've used the Memento Black ink with I Choose You. And now we are done with our ink pads. Let me get these closed up. And now we have a little bit of coloring to do on this piece. I like to use the alcohol markers for my larger coloring areas because you don't get any scribble marks like you do with the um, stamp and write markers. You get a lot of scribble marks if you're coloring a bigger area. This is the dark one. Oh, and then I'm gonna just do a little line right there. And then this is the light one. And I'm just going to come in and blend into that dark and then it just gives you that nice shaded look on the edges of your image where you've put the dark. 
I think these little gumball machines are so cute. So my online class, it's a kit class. It includes the shaker domes that go with these, as well as, oh, I forgot to mention, we're gonna use the essentials pack of Baker's Twine too. It includes that. It includes the shaker domes, which I'll show you in just a second, and also the frosted beads, which are super cool, as well as a pack of the Brights Designer Series paper. You get a whole pack, like I've used a lot of mine. There's 48 sheets in here. I've got 40 sheets of um, bright colored cardstock. Okay, then for using, for coloring in smaller areas, I like to use these markers, they have a little bit more delicate tip on them. You have a coloring tip and you also have a writing tip. And I found that I can do pretty well with the coloring tip with these gumballs. I've made a bunch of these cards now. I've been having so much fun with this. I designed all of my kit cards with the gumball greetings bundle. And can I just say, they're so stinking cute, they make me giddy. Like I was just smiling from ear to ear every time I got done with one and loving them. Now there's a coordinating die that's going to cut this out. I'm using Bermuda Bay Stampin' Write marker now. Our markers come in color family packs. Both of these colors are in the Brights family. So you get 10 of them, I think, 10 different bright colors. Okay, so I'm just coloring random gumballs in here. And then I'm going to grab the coordinating die. The gumball machine dies come with 15 different dies in here that go with the bundle. So I'm gonna set this on here. I'm gonna run it through my die cutting machine. I'll be right back. And here comes our cute little gumball machine. Isn't that just adorable? We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that. Let me get this stamp out of the way. I'm gonna put one right up here and one right here. We're gonna glue these two together and kind of offset them. So I am going to put a little bit of liquid glue on here. I like to use liquid glue. It allows a little bit of wiggle room before it sets up. You can move things before they set up too long. Here's our gumballs. We're going to add this to our Bermuda Bay layer. And one thing too I wanted to mention, when I'm using my liquid glue, it, it is my favorite type of adhesive. I like it because it goes a long way. It gives you that wiggle room. You wanna be careful when you're using it and you wanna scribble on your cardstock. You don't wanna hold it up here and drip it on. That's too much glue. The less glue you use is the faster that it will dry. Add this right to my card front. Now we're gonna bring these tags in. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back here. And use my take your pick tool to pop those off. That always works really good for me. Now, we could tie some Baker's Twine on here right now, but what I've found is it's actually easier to use a mini glue dot and attach that. So, um, you're going to grab the white Baker's Twine. This comes with five different colors of Baker's Twine in it. This is called the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. And I love that you get all of these in one. A great variety. I've already taken two pieces here and I cut them at 11 inches each. Now before I forget, there is a free download of these projects on my blog, which you're going to have a link at the end of the video. A downloadable project sheet that you can save to your computer or you can print to keep this card idea, all the dimensions, the colors that I used in your stamping library. Okay, this is a bow jig. I have these, um, a friend supplies me with these. I only charge what it takes for me to buy them and ship them off to you. If you would like one of these, pop me an email. Again, 
kelly at estampabove.com. If you're in the U.S., I can invoice you through PayPal and get one off in the mail to you. They're wonderful. If you struggle with bows, they're just the most fabulous tool. They will save you all the frustration. Okay, I've got a mini glue dot here, and I kind of, I'm going to kind of curl it up. And I'm gonna put it right at the top of this tag opening. And that's where I'm going to bring in this beautiful, perfect every time bow. Put that right there. Oh my gosh, this card is looking so cute. I've got two other color combinations to share with you with the same layout. Oh my goodness, isn't it cute? That just makes me happy. Where'd my envelope go? Here it is. Here's my matching envelope. Very, very cute. I love this Bermuda Bay and Flirty Flamingo. Okay, then I'm going to bring in, this is my Pacific Point and Granny Apple Green. So I used those two colors on this card. And this is made with the same pack of designer series paper, the Brights. And then I've got this one. I use Coastal Cabana and Daffodil Delight to make this card. My mom's birthday is this weekend, and she told me she could use some birthday cards. So I've been making cards for her. I'm, I know she's just going to love these, and she's got a lot of um, younger people that she needs to give cards to. So this is going to be perfect to add to her birthday gift. Yay! And then here are some more ideas with the gumball greetings. This is the shaker dome and the frosted beads. I use some silver foil paper here with Highland Heather as my um, card base and the black baker's twine from the essential pack. This is a gift card holder. Let me grab the other one. Oh, and a matching envelope. So there's another idea. This is just a different color. This is Bermuda Bay, the same exact card. Aren't these sweet? These domes are so fun. And here is the little pocket for the gift card holder. Perfect. My mom is going to love these. Yay! And then this morning I was in another blog hop with the One Stamp at a Time design team. And um, we used blending for our theme. And so I use the blending brushes and our decorative masks to make this background and also decorate up my envelope. This is Fresh Freesia. Isn't that cute? This is our um, metallic mesh ribbon, which is really fun. So now a ton of ideas here. My kit includes four more ideas. You get to make two of each card. All of the cardstock is pre-cut and ready for you to use. You get the domes, you get the frosted beads, you get a pack of the Brights Designer Series paper, as well as the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. You can add on the Gumball Greetings Bundle if you don't have it. The kit is $54. If you would like to add on the bundle, your total will be $104. That includes priority shipping, all the taxes, all the stuff. This is a fantastic bundle. I hope you will take advantage of it. You can also join my Stamp Happy Academy website. I do this with my friends Barb and Dina. All of the PDF files for our online classes go on to that for $19.95 a month. So you get four online classes every single month. Yay! This is my current host code. If you'd like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. If you have any questions about the cards that I've made today, you're going to find a complete downloadable project sheet that tells you all the dimensions, all the products that I've used. Don't forget the fancy tag and the delightful tag topper punches are on sale and retiring. This is where you're going to find the link to that blog hop. Please go check it out and see what everybody else made. We've got some fantastic designers on this design team. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day today to spend it with me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. Bye-bye.